Hey you my squidlings, it's Katie here and I hope you're having a squidlicious day. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lucas Aquarel 1862 Artist Grade Watercolors. These are made in Germany and I reached out to the company and they were generous enough to send me this set to review for you guys. Um, just the normal, not being paid or sponsored, all opinions are my own and they were just super nice enough to send this set to me. So this comes in a super fancy box. I have the 48 set of half pans and it comes with this little palette here. Actually, it's it's not huge, but it's also not tiny. It has a thumb hole for if you want to take it traveling, which it does like fit in your purse or bag or whatever you've got, so it's really great. It's got a ton of wells. It's got four large ones and I think 12 small ones on the bottom. Um, and you can also take the tray out and you have more wells on the bottom in the center as well. So these come pre-wrapped and they also come in a tray. It's like aluminum on the back. Um, so here is what they look like. They have these little tabs that hold them in place. You can bend them if you want to get them out, but I wouldn't bend them too much because they feel like they might break off. So just a warning. So basically this fits right inside the center here. Again, if you want, you can always move it. And uh, here's what it looks like before everything's unwrapped, but it's set inside there. I think it's super pretty and I just wanted to get this shot. So now these have the color name on the front. They have the pigment information on the back and then they also have the light fastness information on the front. So they're super transparent about everything and I think that's amazing. So I'm unwrapping them right now. This took forever. <laughs> so the Lucas 1862 watercolors, they have a range of 70 colors and 48 of them are single pigment colors. So that means that you're going to get really clean mixes and you don't have to worry about them getting less vibrant or muddy. They come in half pans, whole pans, which are like double the size of the ones seen in the video. And then they also come in 24 milliliter tubes and they have their own blend of wetting agent, which I thought was pretty cool. So it's unique to this company. They do come in sets kind of like this one and they are also open stock. So if you run out of your favorite color, you can always buy another one. I think one of my favorite parts of this is how vivid the color intensity is. They are absolutely gorgeous and their color shift is pretty minimal, which isn't very known across most watercolor brands and I think that's really great. So basically the color you put down is almost the color that you're going to get. The pigment is really easy to get out of the pan so you don't feel like you're scrubbing it constantly because I've, I don't generally use pan paints to be honest because I don't like scrubbing them. But this one was not frustrating at all and I'm really glad about that. A little bit of this paint goes a very long way and it flows absolutely beautifully in water and they're not chalky. Yay for not chalky watercolors! <laughs> They can be moderately pricey because these are artist grade and they're so high quality, it's not very surprising. So prices range between the colors that you get. Half pans range from $3.99 a pan to $5.79. Whole pans range from $5.39 to $7.99 and tubes range from $9.59 to $12.89. These are in US dollars, so of course prices will be different depending on where you live. And I think you, if you live in Germany, you're probably more um, affordable <laughs> just because I'm in the United States and they're not made here. They mix absolutely stunningly with water to just create some beautiful gradients and as you can see I'm creating like a galaxy effect and you can just watch how pretty it is just flowing across the paper and it's just I was amazed while painting with these and I figured that I'd have to go over the galaxy more than once because that's usually what I have to do with watercolors because they don't, they dry really dull and I didn't have to do that with these. These are absolutely stunning. They're honestly, and I mean this, they're one of the best watercolor sets that I have ever used. They're just so pretty and concentrated and I just, they're amazing. The palette is great for travel as well, like I said earlier, and I think that's a bonus. I plan on taking this traveling whenever I go out. And I think they have a great range of color. I have the 48 set and I got a really gorgeous range of reds and yellows and blues and greens and browns and just amazing colors and I think they did a really good job curating this set.
One of the only flaws I can think of is that the palette and the tray that the colors sit in feels kind of cheap. They feel flimsy compared to the quality of the paint and again that could just be me nitpicking but it just feels a little cheap and I in all honesty there's not much else I can think of now this isn't a little nitpicky too but unwrapping each and every pan was just tedious <laughs> but that's just a personal preference I think so um, really, there's not much else I can say bad about these paints. I had so much fun painting with them, and watercolor for me is relaxing, and it's something I love to do um, when I just need to de-stress, and these paints did not make me feel like I was fighting against them, and I had a great time painting them, and I'm just really stoked that they're so high quality. So would I recommend them for beginners? Absolutely, they're a little bit more on the pricier side, so if you've got the money, I would say invest in this because I feel like this would be a set that you would want to keep even when you become a professional and that moves on to would I recommend these for professional artists? Absolutely, these are stunning, some of the best watercolors I've ever used, not saying I'm professional by any means, but I think they're amazing and I think you would like them too. Thank you to the Lucas Company for sending me these. I had a great time with them and I just, I love them so much. <laughs> if you want to purchase your own set, I will leave a link down in the description below to where you can do so. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy anything, I get a small commission, but it'll be at no extra charge to you. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so incredibly much for watching this review. I hope you found it informative, helpful, all of that stuff. I hope it kind of helped you gain an opinion on these paints. If you like reviews, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Also, don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know any future reviews that you would like to see me do. Here is a look at the final piece and I am just ecstatic on how this came out. I just love everything about these paints. They are so vibrant and I just, I love it so much. Don't forget if you are already and you want to be a subscriber to join our cute little squid pod, there's a subscribe button down below and there's this little bell button next to it that when you click that you get notified on any new videos that I upload. And until next time guys, toodaloo!